Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I've got my Mac Studio and today I'm going to show you how to attach a monitor such as this 4K monitor here to the Mac Studio. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing so that you can keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So when you turn the Mac Studio around you're going to find that there's an HDMI port right here and that's for the standard HDMI cable. So most monitors are going to have an HDMI cable of some kind and this type of cable can support most resolutions including 4k if you happen to have a monitor that is a high refresh rate then you might need a different kind of thunderbolt cable and that will connect by one of these thunderbolt 4 ports at the back of the mac studio however today we're going to be using the standard hdmi cable so you can see here that it has a specific type of shape where it's kind of a bit more rounded here and flat here and basically what we're going to do is connect this end into the back of the mac studio like this and the other end is going to go into the back of the monitor and you can see that the display has already been turned on so if I just turn this around, I'll just show you the back of the monitor as well. So standard monitors have HDMI ports like these ones here, or display ports which are a bit more square. Today I'm going to be plugging in this HDMI cable here. I'll plug it into this HDMI 1 socket. Most monitors will also have this kind of power cable as well. This is a standard 3-pin power cable, and this is going to go into the wall and then into the back of this monitor. So the majority of monitors are just going to turn on straight away as soon as you plug in that cable and it's powered so then you can go ahead and use the monitor as normal. Some monitors are going to require you to switch the HDMI input manually and so you have these buttons here. You can switch between HDMI 1, HDMI 2 and also the display port but normally this is automatic so you don't normally need to do this. And it should normally turn on to the Mac desktop by default when you plug the cable in and when the power is plugged in too. So that is how you plug in the HDMI cable from a Mac Studio into any type of display, whether it's a 1080p display or a 4K display at 60 hz Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.